G'day guys, I thought I'd um, go through the back of the 76 with everyone today and thought we'd do a detailed breakdown of what's inside the drawers and in the side compartments next to the drawers what I keep in there. Predominantly we have like one, we call it tool drawer where I keep tools and recovery gear and all that sort of stuff. We'll go through that in a minute and the drawer behind me is our kitchen drawer. Yeah, so this is just what I carry in the back of my car. We've culled it down a lot since we had the Hilux because the Hilux was bigger and we, we um, carried a lot of stuff. There's probably a few things I'm lacking now um, which I've culled down and probably if we're going to do a bigger trip I'd probably throw a few extra things in so this is just what I carry so yeah, see what you reckon. We'll just start with the tool drawer and I'll take it out of the car and we'll put it on the floor and we'll dissect it. So this is the tool drawer, the tool side. So straight on top here, I have just have sitting on top the uh, recovery blanket. Um, in this little bag here, I have, I have another little core light in the car and that's a lead for it. Plus I have a core, hardcore strip light. Got my big lamp hammer. Just sit separate so when you open your drawer, you can grab that. It's good for tent pegs and stuff like that. This bag here is for if I need to winch. So just in this bag, I have this separate to my recovery gear. Um, so that that's my receiver hitch. That normally goes in the back of the car before we go away. But so it'll be just this bag I can grab out if I have to winch. So in here is a tree trunk protector my snatch ring and a soft shackle so if i need to winch i just can grab this bag because my controller my winch controller is in my center console so i can just grab this and that's ready to go that's one thing i've always had my winch stuff separate to my like snatch straps and stuff like that because it's just the way i've always done it so in, in this one here, this is just my tools. I've got a soft mallet, and that's just a heap of basic hand tools. I'll lay them out and there'll be a photo just here now. So in here is like all my knickknacks. Um, a lot of little handy stuff I've carried over the years. I've got like just a normal voltmeter. This in here is a, it's a DC clamp meter so I can get um, a reading of amps. It's probably broken now. This is a quarter drive socket set. Got heaps of cable ties. Where would we be without cable ties? So in the bottom, that red box is a tire plug kit. And then I have this this box, this kit I've just made up myself. Um, it's got fuses, uh, fuses for the MIDI fuses. We've got some string, some soldering, wire, a um, couple of spare clips, a um, couple of R clips, spit, split pins, a spare thing for the compressor. Got some spare valves. It's always handy to have bare valves. I carry the whole lot. I've already used the, the valve out of that. Even my ashtray, I have the actual valve remover for those. So I have normal size fuses and the midi, the mini ones. I've got some of this needed hardening putty. I've got a three-way socket set, Siga, Siga socket thing. Just some wire, some Velcro, Loctite, carry a spare pin for the hitch in the back of the car because yeah you never they're quite easy to lose and if you lose one you're you're stuffed um, in here is just some miscellaneous bolts nuts and bolts I carry a spare this is for the fox wing so I carry a spare um, that's the hinge for in the corner where the fox wing hinges so now mine's getting on a bit. I've broken a couple of those, but it's always handy to have those because they're easy to replace. So you can just do them while you're camping if you happen to break one. The Rhino Rack Allen Key. 
couple of um, hose clamps, some numerous uh, electrical tape, gaffer tape, some rescue tape, and some different lots of emery, emery paper. So that's it for that bag. A lot of little handy little knickknacks in there. All right, so this bag is a little bit different. I carry my fuel, um, my jerry can um, filler in the car so it doesn't get all dusty and crappy. Like that sits on your jerry can on the back of the car. So it's filled with dirt and then that ends up in your fuel tank. So I carry that in the car. Some riggers gloves. A, just a tomahawk, a little um, hand saw because um, a lot of times now I don't take the chainsaw so I bought one of these to um, try out, silky saw. Got this bat light, work light thing. Thought it'd be handy for working under the car also. Puts out a fair bit of light, it's got a magnet on it. Pretty handy for camping as well. Carry some WD-40, some inox, spray, a um, couple of, these are the straps I use to tie the swag down with. They're the actual Rhino, Rhino straps. They're pretty nice. Like some kangaroo leather, just some little straps come in handy for different things. I like a spanner roll. They're all spanners. And this is the, carry my sockets separate. These are just sockets. So in my tool bag, I have a half inch ratchet, some extensions, and these are the sockets. A can, a like a gas can, but also got the blowtorch attachment for it. Big screwdriver, because that doesn't fit in the other bag. Uh, just another little strap. More cable ties, can't have enough cable ties. The Factor 55 feed tool for fixing your winch rope and stuff like that. And my wheel brace, so I don't have to dig in the side of the car to get the normal one out. Plus this is like a, bought this from super cheap, extends out, it's longer, a bit more user friendly. Yeah, so that's, that's that bag. And got like a wood sling in the bottom of the drawer there too, so put your wood in there, which I have never, not used yet. Hopefully we can get out and go camping soon. So that's it for this drawer. Alrighty, so the kitchen drawer. So this is the little cutlery tray that comes with it that slides in and out so in there we've got a little torch got like utensils knife cigarette lighter some these are extendable marshmallow cookers this is a little tool i made up get the bung out of the jerry can put the tap in potato masher can opener our toothbrushes scissors, a gas bottle adapter. That's about it for that. I've made a um, chopping board that fits in the top of the drawers and slides along with that to wherever. So that's handy and we use that as a coffee table. We sit it on another little stool. The Uni Flame cook set. Some spare um, coffee sachets like the cappuccino ones, paper towel, tea towel, some cups and some garbage bags, a jet boil canister, another tea towel, chopping board, a grater, a barbie mate, some fire lighters, some chucks, some pegs, and another yellow cloth. So I've got the divider in there. So next up, sort of our plates and stuff. So I'll grab the whole lot out. We have a, like a colander like a collapsible one. Four plates. We might be able to drop that back to two now. A uh, mixing bowl, four bowls, two little like breakfast bowls, some toothpicks, egg rings, a couple of Snow Peak coffee mugs, and we've got to keep our sauces in there. Tea, sugar, coffee, instant coffee, salt and pepper. What's this one? pepper steak. In the front bit here you keep the jet boil, knives and forks in a like a in a roll. That's pretty handy. I made up some of these fire lighters so they're just um, makeup pads with some um, I melted some wax and put them on there. Some wipes, dishwashing liquid, sandwich bags, dishcloths, 
I was using these for a while, these fire lighters. Cotton balls in Vaseline, they work all right too. Spray oil, we have down the bottom here. This one's cling wrap. Oh man, they're falling apart. Baking paper and foil. So those those lots are down in the front there. So that's how we have the, the drawer divvied up like that. That sort of, that layout works out well for us. Pretty much this just stays like this the whole time. So this is our Uniflame medium cook set we carry in the car with us all the time. It's permanently in there. So that's a big pot with that lid or a rice cooker, saucepan. Saucepan handle, and this saucepan here. That's enough when you're car camping, I reckon. So down the driver's side, side pocket next to the tool drawer, this is what I keep. Another little box that's just got some more nuts and bolts in it. And then this bag has tent pegs. So I got, I got six sand pegs, and six big super peg pegs so that that's for the that's for the hexatarp and the sand pegs also come in handy for the fox wing if we're in sandy ground and we're using that also tucked down in there spare toilet paper roll it's worth a lot these days little kick-ass shower so that's the little uh, rechargeable lithium powered shower these things are pretty good like just we just use a bucket, boil the kettle once or twice just to take the edge off the water. That's good for a shower. Uh, this bag I have in here some Anderson. These are some extension leads. So if I'm running an extra solar panel and then just a couple of these Anderson plug adapters all in there. This bag here is my small pegs in here. There's some old sort of Oz tent pegs, and I've also just added some new super peg pegs. These are extras for the fox wing. If I'm putting the walls up on the fox wing, this is everything I need for that. That's down in that side pocket. Not much happening down the other side. Um, I've got a two spare fuel filters. A uh, spare litre of oil, spare gas cans, really good hand wash if you happen to have really greasy hands working on your car. Parachute cord or six mil rope, camping rope, uh, dustpan and broom, jumper leads. Just got some jumper leads in there in case I ever need them. Um, that's it for the other side. So just some other stuff that floats around in top of the drawers there, especially in beside the fridge. We got our, up the back, Beside the fridge is our stove, so we use the Coleman Fold and Go stove, which is a two burner stove. But you can also set it up like that if it's a bit windy and you want to use just one burner, you can use it like that. So we got two burners. Uh, good thing about this stove is that it runs off the runs off that little green gas bottle you've seen me show before. But that, that one, plus there's also a hose in there to run it off an actual proper gas bottle if you need to. But we only ever use those, just those green ones. That's about 12 years old now or something. It's been an awesome stove. The bag's just about knackered. We keep this bucket in the car too, because that's handy to get water out of the river. A, for a shower, and B, put your fire out. And this little bag in here is just, it's not a first aid kit. It's just a medicine bag, just has Nurofen and Panadol, cough mixture, flu tablets, all that sort of stuff. But we have an actual dedicated first aid kit up on top, on the top shelf above the. So that's what sits beside the fridge, it sits like that. And just floating around in the car is this bag, which is my other recovery gear, which I can just throw it wherever I want, really. If I know I'm four wheel drive and I can put it in the back seat of the car so it's easy to get to, or um, just have it handy. So I got the uh, the bridle for the front of the car. Uh, got a drifter shackle to go with that. Got some saber shackles. And I also have some gator jaws. 
soft shackles. These are the first shackles I bought. These aren't too bad. These are pretty good. So I haven't actually used the, the Sabre ones yet. I actually won these on Instagram. So yeah, they're yet to be used. These, these have definitely been used and so have they. And I have the Drifter Stockton recovery rope. So this thing is um, really awesome too. So this replaces the snatch strap. So I got this Drifter Stockton recovery rope and we also have a the Sabre rope as well. So that's in the boys car. So these work really well if you join two together. Having two together is awesome. Like one is one is good, two is awesome. Especially like for bogged in sand and stuff. So but that's that's what I like about that bag. That all just chucks in there. Like that. That's as easy as it is. Because you can't fold that stuff up neatly. So that's that. That's my recovery gear, pretty much. And you've seen already before my winch stuff. So it's pretty much all I carry. All right, so the little shelf I got above the fridge that runs across the top in the back. We have a fair bit of gear up there. So I thought I'd go through that as well. So I'll start with this because it's just on the bottom. So this holds six of those foam mats interlock together, those type of mats. So we use those to stand on when we're having a shower. We also use those under the swag if the, if the ground's a bit, a bit lumpy or bumpy or rocky or too hard or whatever, we chuck, chuck a couple of them under the swag. So that sits up there on the bottom. On top of that is our crush pad ground sheet for under the swag. Also been carrying one of these stools now this is handy, I put that chopping board on there and it acts as a coffee table. Or when you're sitting back in your chair, you can put your feet up on there, it's a bit of a foot rest. That sits on top of up there with that as well. And then next to that, it's where our, we've got these collapsible tubs. So that's washing up and that's dish draining obviously. So they sit up there next to that. That's a full uh, St. John's first aid kit all in that bag. It was in the white plastic hard box but we took it all out and it fits in one of those. It's a bit easier to carry. It sits up in the shelf next to that. Then we have our Helinox chairs. So those two sit like that. So they're the Helinox sunset chairs and they sit up on top there like that. In this bag, these are the bases for the Helinox chairs. They don't sink into the sand or anything. Now I bought those, but I haven't actually used them yet. Cause I find um, using those in the soft ground if they dig into the sand a little bit, it doesn't really matter. And then I have my Ender Flate to let the tires down and a little canvas, just this um, little canvas bucket thing, which has been pretty handy. To actually, it's, I know it's small, but you can use that to fill up bigger containers if the water source is not, not very big. And that just sits in there like that. And that's all held in with like elasticized straps, which holds that all on that shelf. So that's pretty much what's up top. So a fair bit of gears up on top there and it makes it easy to get to. Rightio guys, that's everything I keep in the back of the Land Cruiser we take away with us. And this car, that, that stays, it's all packed in back in there now. And that's how it stays and makes it easier to go away for a weekend. There's not less stuff to worry about and pack. That's just how we do it anyhow. Thanks for watching and if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Yeah, and think about subscribing to the channel as well. And help me out a lot. So anyhow, if you, like I said before, anything you think I've missed and I should be carrying, just let me know in the comments. Cheers guys.